Alrighty guys, this is Tachi and welcome back to more Let's Play Siberia. So, we finally found this place. Seems like we can go around and explore and I think we should nearly be done with the game. I think this may be the last chapter. Look at that over here in the water. That face on the uh... That face right here where I'm pointing at. This doesn't look like a... Oh, phone call. Hello? What do you think you're doing, Kate? I wanted updates. I wanted results. Certainly, Mr. Morrison. We all do. Down in the ground, we're doing all we can, but there's no new developments. Kate, I don't think you understand the urgency of this situation. Universal toys are on my back and digging in. I can't hold them off much longer. You're putting the firm in a very tricky situation. No way she's supposed to be. But a slight mishap or two has meant that I've had to modify my mission temporarily. Miss Walker, you're walking on a minefield here. I don't have to underline that this affair is Class A Priority Numero Uno. Hot! I am only too aware of that, Mr. Marson, and believe me, I am doing all I possibly can. But this mission is really no piece of cake. No kidding. You can have all the cake you want and eat it too when you get home. Next time I call you, I want something concrete, something solid. I want results. You understand? Results. Yes, Mr. Marson. Damn. Get all huffy about it. Pretty sure she's doing all she. Oh, whoa. What is this? That is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. Hmm. I guess we'll head down here then. The music's pretty good in this, too. Oh wow, there's actually a railroad track through here. It's actually a little loud. Huh. Let's go this way, I guess. Is there anything this way? Ah! One of these stations. I don't need to do that. No, because the train's not here. Hmm. What's ahead in this building right here? Ah, look at there. Somebody's actually here. Good morning, sir. Good day to you, ma'am. And welcome to the Hotel Kronsky. I don't expect you've made a reservation, have you? Well, no matter. We've got a few rooms left with the sea view. By far the best on offer. Uh, well... Actually, I wasn't counting on staying in Arrowbad. I see. It's like that then. Uh, so, what can I do for you? Ah. Huh. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer sent by a major American law firm to take care of a delicate inheritance case. Ah. Very pleased to meet you, Miss Walker. Felix Smertan, at your service. I'm the receptionist of this establishment. Between you and me and the brick wall, I often play the role of general manager here, too. Ah, these days the place ain't what it used to be. This like hotel it. is truly incredible, though. It's kind of sumptuous in an old-fashioned way. You should see how sumptuous our suites are. Oh, the TV's actually are. working now. For century, they have accommodated some of the world's greats. Would you like to take one? No, it's okay, thank you. I'm not staying. I've got to get away. I'm expected. Right. Well, in that case, I don't see what I can do for you. Uh... I want to meet someone who lives here. That's very inconvenient. None of my customers said they were expecting someone. You can't just turn up like that. We've got a very strict policy. In this day and age, the hotel ain't too open to, um, impromptu visits from any Tom, Dick, or Harry. Uh, please. I absolutely must speak with her. It's very important. If it was that important, all you had to do was ring the hotel. Her people come here to rest, you see, to get away from the world, which ain't turning so good these days. But don't let me keep you. Good day to you, ma'am. Honestly, uh... if I could have called, I would have called, but I couldn't. So please, can you bend the rules just a little, sir? Ma'am, in this hotel, we don't bend nothing for no one. With respect. Okay. Sir, 
I really could use your help. I'm sorry, ma'am, but my helping hand only serves my hotel guests. Well, let me just say that by helping me out, you'd also be helping out one of your very own guests. Ma'am, I'm not to be wound around anyone's little finger, you hear? Could you tell me if a certain Hans Varlberg has ever been here? On a spa holiday? Uh, yes, yes, that's it. I'm sorry, but our hotel register is strictly confidential. <laughs> Come on, please, it's not like it's a state secret you're telling me here. And if I just let you consult our register, uh, what am I going to get out of it? Uh, my eternal gratitude? That's just what I was expecting. Adieu, as the French say, madame. Usually I travel on this fantastic mechanical train. Haven't I seen some kind of a station here? Is it possible to arrive here by train then? Of Seems course like it. it. What were you suggesting? Uh, if I'm not very much mistaken, that's your air balloon I see getting blown to shreds in the hotel garden. Oh yeah, the airship. That's a bit different. I just borrowed that to make the round trip journey to Arlbad. Whatever. You better think about getting it off there and quick. With that contraption on my lawn, some of my clientele might have a relapse. Relapse. It's a real shame that there aren't any guests at your hotel. We had our moment of glory, but now it's all in the past. That's all. Doesn't it make you sad? Why should it? Once upon a time I met the greatest of the great. Now I got my memories. Sweet memories. Huh. I guess well, all we can do. Thanks anyway. At your service, ma'am. Now what are we supposed to do now? See if there's anything to steal. I guess we'll just go look around ourselves. There's a door here. Ah. Ah. Whatever that was. What was it? Oh, detergent. I guess he's watching the game. It's locked. The door's locked, but I've still got to get in there. Hmm. No. Nope. Vodka and detergent. Okay. What is he saying? Sir? Okay. What if we could fix that TV for him? Guilty! Uh. <laughs> ah, so he wants... Oh, oh, what is that? <laughs> Maybe we can pour some vodka in his cup or something. I'm sorry to disturb you again, but I've absolutely got to meet Madame Romansky. Don't even think about it. Any way into this hotel is bolted. Why are you telling me that? No reason. Like that, just in case you feel like walking in and rummaging about. The times are changing, ma'am, and we've had to introduce a security system. Keep out unwanted visitors as sure as we keep out the sand and the salt, if you get my drift. Yeah, huh. of course. Well, thanks again for your warmth and hospitality. Well, thanks anyway. At your service, ma'am. Hmm. That I'm to sorry again. to disturb you again. Don't even think about it. Any way into this hotel is bolted. Oh. Why are you telling me that? No reason. Like that, just in case you feel like walking in and rummaging about. The times are changing, ma'am, and we've had to... Yeah, well... At your... Salt and sand out. Hmm. 
Is there anything over here? Uh, let's see if we missed anything in the closet. Maybe some keys hanging up or something. Hmm. Pretty sure it's still locked. The door's locked. Penalty. Well, let's see what we can do outside. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh my god. This is funny. Detergent in the fountain. I'm sorry to disturb you again, but I've absolutely got to meet Madame Romansky. Don't even think about it. Any way into this hotel is bolted. Why are you telling me that? No reason. Like that, just in case you feel like walking. Yeah, of course. Well, thanks again for your warmth and hospitality. Uh. Sir. I really could use your help. I'm s well, let me, ma'am. Well, at your s Oh, what? Uh, should we tell him about the the soap? I'm sorry to disturb you again, but I've absolutely don't even. Why are you telling? No reason. Yeah, of course. Well, thanks again for your warmth and hospitality. There has to be an option somewhere. Uh. It's a real shame that there aren't any guests at your hotel. We had... Doesn't it make... Why should it? Once upon a time I met the greatest of the... Well... At your... Okay. So now there's soap in the... Now there's gotta be a way for him to look outside. Ah. That'll do it. That should do it. Now let's talk to him. Watch him step really fast here. Sir? You again? You're beginning to really overstep the mark. I warn you, one more and I'm going to... But what the hell's going on over there? Why is it me gets hell to pay when there's already too much work to do? Huh. Uh huh. We might get the mop and bucket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> 